The night before Christmas. <coughs> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of sugar plums dancing their heads. And Molly in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out of the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When, what to my wandering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. <laughs> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before, the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up off the housetop, the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and snake mittless too. And then in a twinkling, I hear on the roof, the prancing pawing of eight little hoofs. As I drew up my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothing were all trannish with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose were like cherry. His droll little mouth was drawing up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of the pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that there was nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his high work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.